Hey everyone, and welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy, and in this video, we're gonna tell you all of the latest news about our projects, as well as the company. And as always, if you don't wanna watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. For Time of Legends Joan of Arc this week, we have a sneak peek battle report of the last Teutonic Knights scenario, Tannenberg. Not long ago, we playtested a bit more of the Tannenberg scenario to make sure balancing was on point. So we figured we could show a bit of how it turned out. As you can see, it's pretty crowded. The part of the battle we wanted to showcase and focus on was its ending, the last stand of the Teutonic Knights before their inevitable fall. In this battle, Teutonic forces are not able to rally. Their entire army is on the board right from the start, and it's only downhill from there. Lithuanian and Polish forces come in waves and chip away at their numbers, sapping their morale, but the Teutonic Knights must stand strong. The goal of this scenario is for the Teutonic Knights to go out with a bang. If they're going to lose, at least they will do so with honor while upholding their principles. Their opponents, on the other hand, want to snuff out every last trace of the Teutonic presence from their land. Three Teutonic banners are laid around the battlefield. The Teutonic forces want to secure a hold on them, protecting their holy flag at all costs. The longer they hold them, and the more areas they own at the same time, the more victory points they gain per round. They can also go out into the fray and try to destroy the rally routes for their opponents, scoring them some additional glory and valor while limiting their opponent's options. The Polish-Lithuanian forces abuse powerful cavalry charges, breaking their opponent's formation to reduce their numbers little by little, preventing them from scoring as many points as they can late in the game. During our last playtest, the Teutonic Knights held their ground valiantly, fending off wave after wave of Polish assaults before crumbling under the pressure, but not without amassing an impressive 16 victory points thanks to a latch-ditch attack on a Lithuanian rally point during their last turn with all their remaining units, which at that point were only four. The Lithuanian forces, however, snagged some kills on the main Teutonic characters, bringing final scores to a 16 to 15 count for the Teutonic Knights. Though they fell, their name shall be remembered throughout the ages as one of the greatest armies the world has ever seen. For Super Fantasy Brawl this week, we only have a little bit more information on shipping. The Australian hub has received the games and will begin fulfillment very soon. The hub for Europe and the rest of the world is receiving the games this week by the last report they've sent us. And we're still waiting on confirmation from the shipper in North America. So rest assured that we will pass along more information when we have it. On to Enchanters, we have received the first Ultimate and Veteran Pledges from the Factory, and we have some images to show you of them. And of course, Leo will be doing an unboxing of them today on his live Q&A, so make sure you turn in. But in the meantime, enjoy. Finally, the development of Hell the Last Saga continues with the first tests of the plot investigation scenarios. We are delighted that the system allows these off-road kinds of scenarios, which allows a break between two scenarios with strong tactical aspects. 
In this regard, we are studying the possibility of making some scenarios stand alone so that they can be replayable outside of the campaign, as some of them are really an original minigame on their own. We will keep you informed how that develops, though. Now, a quick word about last week's launch of the Tabletop Simulator module, which can frankly be described as successful because more than 500 of you have already subscribed to the first scenario in English. You can find the module by following the link in the description below. Now, we're looking forward to your feedback on this twisted scenario, and indeed we've already received some feedback, and we're looking at ways to make those changes that you've suggested. For the most spoiler-reluctant among you, don't worry. What you're told in the online module is only a prologue version and is very different than what Song 1 will be in its final version. We definitely don't want to spoil anything in this story for you. We have also had a lot of feedback on the rules, including requests for updates. Please note that we will post a new updated version in early November. Playtesting is currently cruising right along, and it would be inefficient to focus on finalizing the rules at this particular point. Additionally, we've just installed a complete Mythic Games multi-camera broadcast studio to film complete games in a more immersive way. This upgrade will benefit many of our games, but will be inaugurated with a Game of Hell The Last Saga. So stay tuned on our YouTube channel to watch this demonstration. And finally, this week will be marked by a big meeting with all of our narrative authors. Our next update will have pictures of this long-awaited, almost historical event. So remember that Leo will be live later today at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time, on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English, and then later at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So tune in if you have any questions and to check out that live unboxing of Enchanters. But that's it for this week. Stay home, stay safe, Play some games while you're at it, and we'll see you on the flip side. Take care.